Welcome to Zinger Bats, the place where billets of wood become baseball bats used in the hands of major leaguers. We had six guys on the team that was in the World Series swinging our bats last year during the playoffs. So um, to see kind of what we're doing and kind of being a part of the game in any small kind of facet is, is really cool. The coolest part, however, is the production process. It's the lathe is uh, pretty much the brain of everything. It cuts it down to spec, down to millimeter. From there it'll go to the Nash sander and it's like a rotisserie, it'll spin and uh, it'll hit I think like six different grades of sandpaper starting with 80 down to 320 and then we'll throw it through there a couple times and then we'll put on the hand sander trying to clean up the scratch marks. And then the, the rounding and then buff it, get it all nice and clean for paint. There's, uh, there's black, you gotta be able to see the grains for breakage wise, they gotta see if you're giving them straight grains. But uh, black stain, walnut, cherry, and clear is typical only, only for major league. We got a, it's basically like a big printer, but instead of printing ink, it prints, it's like a laser, and it burns the, uh, the engraving on there. It's, it's really precise, you can take a picture and plug it in there and you can engrave that on a bat. Mostly on maple, we'll use the latex paint. You can just rub it on and uh, wipe it off with a wet rag and the paint stays in there. We'll cup the end of the bat. It's just taking, a, taking about an ounce out of the barrel. Some players have to have it just because they're weird like that, but mostly it's just for weight. It'll just take a, take a little scoop out of the end. From shaping and painting down to the final touches, this is where bats are born. For Newswatch, I'm Christina Vicaria reporting.